Sparkle Squad, this is Monica, and I'm coming to you today with a little bootastic <laughs> mini tutorial for the month of October 2022 Joy of Blue collab with my friend Sarah at Crafting and Relaxing. I will be sure to have all the links below, as is typical in my description. If you would like to check them out, please do so. There are several ladies that are collaborating with her. And they will also be, some of them, participating on Instagram, I believe. So, make sure you check everybody out. And I believe she will be continuing this into the next year. I'm not certain yet. I have not seen the announcement. But, fingers crossed. This has been really fun. Today, because it is the month of Halloween, I plan to make some pumpkin earrings. And I'm going to do them with these little blue melon beads that I got from BB Craft as well as some wire that I got from Softlex. This is their craft wire in 20 gauge. And I have a black, a vintage bronze, a bare copper. And then I do have my good old standard silver here that is just, I don't even remember what the brand name is of that. But silver tools, I have my nylon jaw pliers for the wire work where I need to warm up my wire or straighten it out. I've got my bent nose pliers so that I can get into tight spots. I have my Zeron pliers, so I have this is the, uh, I think this is the needle nose, and then this is the round nose pliers, and then I have my Vintage flush cutters, which is flat on the back, and my handy one and a half millimeter loop tool here that is that one step looper. It helps me to make my simple loops because I'll probably be doing a little bit of that, and I'm bringing out my little ear wire maker. Now, I've done this multiple ways. I've used, you know, just a pencil or a Sharpie marker and made them both together so that they're always the same size. Or I've used this little tool. I've done all sorts of different ways of making my own ear wire. So, however you want to do that, um, you know, feel free to do so. But I thought since I might make multiples in the different colored wire, I would just use my little tool again here. So, I'll be sure to link all this below in the description. Now, I'm also going to use some of these little bicone crystals that I got from BB Craft, as well as some seed beads that I got from BB Craft. So, make sure that you check out the links below. That's either BB Craft or Panda Hall. I can't remember, but I will definitely have the links below. And some head pins. If you want to use the head pins that are ready made, I've got these in several colors, and I have several different suppliers of those. So, first up, I'm just going to make something really simple here, and I'm going to do the turquoise blue. And these, I think, are meant to be purple, but they look navy blue to me. So, I'm going to include those in the Joy of Blue and make two pairs of those. I've got some coordinating seed beads, bicones, along with the little melon beads. I'm going to use some three inch silver head pins that's got the little nail head on the end of it and I'm going to just pick up this color seed bead here it's kind of a pearlized look to it a melon bead one of these bicones here that has an interesting look to it as the stem and then I'm going to come over here with my one step looper and just make a simple loop because I don't I don't need to be worried about whichever direction this is going to be facing. Make sure I'm far enough away that I don't crush the bicone bead. Take that out. And then I'm going to just slightly pull it back a little bit to essentially make the back side of that loop. And there is a simple loop. I can then use my round nose pliers to close that a little bit better if you get it to where it's not exact. Just bring that into the loop, and I'm going to have to resituate it just a little bit. Use my bent nose pliers. Close that a little bit, and there we go. There is my first little pumpkin. I'm going to use these leftover head pin bits to make a set of ear wires. So I'm just going to come over here on the tip of this edge of both of these together. Now normally these would be an attached piece of metal that I folded over together and made essentially like a bobby pin, but I'm just going to take advantage of this because it's about the size that I need. I'm going to be on the edge of my round nose pliers and the edge of that wire and then I'm going to make a P shape and either you can come towards yourself or go away from yourself. I'm going to go away from myself and I'm going to try to make a P and make sure that it gets closed all the way. I don't want it to jump around, so if you can 
keep this together as much as possible. That would be good. So there is the pea shape. You can use this Euro tool that I would normally do use to make like jump rings or whatnot, but you can also use your step loopers. And this is from Beadsmith here. I like to use this because the acrylic that is covering this round loop over here is a nice way to hold the pea shape that I'm doing, especially when I'm trying to do these together. And I need to just get these put together again. I'm going to put this right here to where the peas are hanging onto this. I'm going to go around this, and I believe this is the 10 millimeter size here on this particular loop step looper that I have. So I'm just going to bend these over, around, and down. And because I kept those together, then these two are pretty much going to be the same. Now I'm going to take these off of my little looper tool and then i'm going to just come over here on the very tip i'm going to use my flush cutters to just trim these off together making sure that they're right here beside one another and try not to let anything hit you in the eyes while this is still together take my round nose pliers and about a fourth of the way up i'm just going to bend outwards that way, I have two of these ear wires now that are the same. Now, I did that as two different pieces of leftover on the head pins that I was using to make these earrings right here. And that's just because that left me enough of a metal bit to, to do that. But you can cut these out just straight from your wire spools, whatever you've got on hand, like these craft wires here. So now that I've made my ear wires, either you can use one of those little ultra tiny jump rings if you need a lot of movement on your dangle, or you can just open this up and put the earring straight onto it. And that's what I'm going to do here. So let me get my bit nose pliers. That's a real easy way to make your own ear wires. So I'm just going to lift this up. Just like I'd be opening a jump ring, pop this earring onto the ear wire that I just made and close it back. Just making sure that there's no gap for that little earring to come off of. And there's one little earring there. How cute is that? And then open up my second. Pop this earring on. And then close that back. And if you feel like there's a little bit of a gap, just kind of push that gently. You don't want to misshape your little loop there. And so now I have two cute little pumpkin earrings in the blue. And I've made my own little ear wires. If you're making your own ear wires, you can take a metal jewelry file or just a metal fingernail file. If you're going to use this for jewelry, I wouldn't suggest you use it for your fingernails afterwards. The regular like paper, cardboard or whatever files are not going to do it. I use the metal ones and I just go in a downward pass, kind of turn my ear wire around, making sure that I get any kind of little sharp edge from where I used my flush cutter to cut so that it's not going to be poking my ear. Now, if it's a different metal in the core of the ear wire, then you may not want to do this, but mine is the same all the way through. And then I just take some of this allergy shield, or you can use clear fingernail polish, just depends on whatever you've got on hand. I like to use the allergy shield because it's specifically made for this. And then just do a little coat on that end and let it dry. And then you've got your own little ear wire there for your earrings. Here are my earrings for the Joy of Blue. And I have made one, two, three, four, five, six pairs, creating my own ear wires. And I just kept it all in silver because I'm running out of time here. And I just wanted to show you all of the different colors. Now I got three of the turquoise blue and three of what I'm calling navy blue. They may mean for that to be purple, but it looks navy blue to me. These are my little blue pumpkins. So I have some turquoise blue and some navy blue and I put some different colored bicones on the tops of each and some different colored seed beads to give some variety for each so let me know below in the comments which one do you like which what's your favorite and have you ever seen blue pumpkins before
Now you can dress these up even more fancy if you want to do some wire wrapping like little tendrils and stuff. I have several examples of that I believe in one video. I'll try to remember which one that is and link it below if you're interested in that. You can do that as fancy or as simple as you want. These are just simple and of course you don't have to make your own ear wires if you have plenty on hand but I went ahead and did mine since I was going to just be throwing those little metal bits away and because they already matched the head pin I was using you know why not. So that's just a handy little trick for for you again you don't have to have these special step looping pliers you can just use a pencil or a sharpie to make that rounded shape and then go ahead with the rest of the process with your bending and filing on the ends there so it's whatever you want to do but I think these turned out super cute and I hope you like this for the joy of blue. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this with any of your friends that might be interested in the joy of blue collab or making their own pumpkin earrings. And if you've not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a sparkle day, y'all. Bye!